Vintage Chanel, how good is it? This is our first Chanel bag on the channel, courtesy of the Luxury Leather Guys. They are a pre-loved luxury goods seller. Luxury Leather Guys sent this vintage bag in for our independent review. Let's get started. This is a vintage Chanel timeless tote bag in black lambskin. Given it's a 30 year old bag, lambskin, it held up pretty good, especially overall in the flat surfaces. There's a lot of crackling on the folded areas, which is kind of normal for lambskin. It's a delicate skin. Great craftsmanship. I don't see any edge paint. Everything is folded in, which is much more durable than edge paints. Great accessories. They're still in functional and good shape. Inside is completely leather lining. Overall, it looks impressive for a 30 year old bag. I try to scratch the lambskin with my fingernails. If I go pretty hard, I see a very minor residue, a scratch, but for a lambskin finish, it's pretty strong, pretty durable. Scratch resistance is very impressive given it's a lambskin. Let's open up the bag now and take a closer look.
So we remove the finish on top of this lamb skin and we see the lamb grain below. In 30 years, it's a pretty good standing for a lamb skin in my opinion. There is fairly minimal amount of finish on it. It's a pigment finish, super typical for lamb finishes in the market. Of course, where the, the design was banded, it shows some cracks and, and looseness, which is the pigment plastic layer drying up over time with that stretched form and it's really good lamb skin over here. So the inside looked like a uh, goat lining to me, but once we removed the finish, fabric backing came about. So this is actually PU leather, AKA fake leather. And the entire interior lining was made with this material. So it is confusing when you have a lambskin material outside and it's a lambskin bag, you might automatically think inside also leather when you see it looks like leather, but they use the PU fake leather here, which I'm, I'm pretty against. I think nine square foot of lambskin will be enough to cover a project like this. Basically one and a half of these lambskins you see in front of me will give you a back like that. And the cost of this leather is less than $60 today. To make a bag of this size and complexity, probably $150 should be enough to cover the accessories and assembly. And the total comes down to $210 to make a project similar to this size and style. In summary, this bag was retailed around $4,000 when it was new in early 90s. And today in the pure loud market, I think it goes around $1,000 to $1,500. So overall, it's a nice lambskin, very nice construction, lasted in three decades in good shape with slight damages on the bands. Uh, overall, the worst part of the bag was PU leather lining, fake leather lining, which I absolutely hate. But of course, it's Chanel. Today, the making of a bag like this cost about $210, $220, which can be retailed about $800 from a brand that doesn't have status. But of course, this is coming from the one of the highest end luxury brands and it's gonna be expensive. So overall, I'm happy with the leather and craftsmanship I found outside, but the inside PU is disappointing. I would like to address the authentication situation here. So luxury leather guys claim that they authenticated this bag using a technology called Entropy, a software, AI-based software, which is a startup in an LVMH-backed incubator. So it sounds pretty legit and reliable so for forces are behind the startup and technology since pre-love luxury goods market is booming. I am taking their 99% accuracy approval stamped as this is an authentic Chanel. With that assumption, I would like to address my concern of findings here. The outside leather is pretty good. It held up pretty nicely in the 30 or more years that was used. It's a nice lambskin and all that. Inside is completely looking like leather. At first sight, I just thought it was a goat skin lining, but at, as we dig deeper, it turned out it was a fake PU leather. I think they could have easily gone use an authentic leather inside as well. Since I'm not an expert in authentication of these bags, I would like to play the devil's advocate here based on my PU leather finding in the inside of this bag. This bag may be one of the fakes. I don't know. I'm not a Chanel expert. I'm not an authentication expert. And I'm questioning the AI used to verify this bag's authenticity. If any one of you knows if Chanel used PU linings back in the day in their products or not, please let us know in the comments so we might help clarifying this question in this project.